Howdy folks, I know that was a provocative title, but I needed you to watch this. I know this isn't gonna replace your beloved Velvet Flurnum, but it's a great substitute if you wanna mix it up a little, try something different, and if you've made this hibiscus liqueur, you gotta do something with it. I got two cocktail variations with the hibiscus liqueur, you know, from before. These are gonna be delicious, let's go. As some of you probably know, uh, about a month ago I made hibiscus liqueur from the Smuggler's Cove book, and I'm looking for more uses for it, and then two things happened. One is I got a comment from a Fine. loyal viewer who goes by none remaining. He or she suggested that I use this in place of flernum. Sort of a not dissimilar flavor profile, but sort of a red flernum. Now this sounds great to me. Number two, my friend Zach made a video about the chartreuse swizzle, which just reminded me I love a chartreuse swizzle. That's got flernum in it. Maybe I could substitute hibiscus liqueur in my chartreuse swizzle. After all, I still have a little pineapple juice left over uh, from the goombe smash uh, that I made just last week. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a red chartreuse swizzle. Now, we are in the midst of a chartreuse shortage. That seems to be something going around the country. My bottle ran out a little while ago, but I have a local substitute called Ver that I'm gonna use. I could use Genepi, as Zach suggests, but I don't have that. I've got Ver. Now, Ver is pretty good. It's not exactly the same as Chartreuse, obviously, but um, it tastes pretty good, and it's a reasonable substitute. Now, of course, between you and me, you could just use your bottle of Green Chartreuse VEP. You've all got that, I'm sure, um, but let's not go overboard. Anyway, go watch Zach's video about the chartreuse swizzle, learn all about it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna use ver, pineapple juice, lime juice, a rum bar overproof white, which recently came back into state, hibiscus liqueur instead of flernum. Let's go swizzle. <laughs> chartreuse swizzle. I mean, it looks great. Nice frosty glass. I'm using these uh, tiny ice cube trays that I've had for a while. Pretty cool. Now normally we would put a little nutmeg on top. I skipped the nutmeg for this. I, just, I don't know. I, I didn't want the nutmeg. So tropical. And fun. And spicy. Mm. The main flavors you get, of course, are pineapple mm. and the chartreuse. In this case, the ver. But they're very strong flavors, so like the the hibiscus liqueur is supporting you know it gives it a little herbalness that rum is pretty powerful too so i mean i'm not missing the flernum i i think this is a great substitute um it's sweet enough it's a little bit bitter a little bit tart eh, i love it now i'm not gonna say it's better than flernum it's probably just as good as flernum, um, and a, a good use for this hibiscus liqueur that I've gone to the trouble of making. All right, let's move on to this other drink that I made up. So now another classic tiki flernum drink is called the corn and oil. It's basically a rum old fashioned kind of drink uh, with flernum as the sweetener. It's rum and sometimes a blackstrap rum, 
uh, Flurnum and Angostura bitters. I'm gonna do a kind of a riff on it. I'm gonna do Real McCoy 3 as the base. I'm gonna add Worthy Park 109 as my dark rum element. I'll put in Hibiscus Liqueur instead of Flurnum. And I'm also gonna add Drambuie because the Hibiscus Liqueur is pretty tart and it could use a little extra sweetness. And I think Drambuie will add a little complexity and sweetness to this drink, which is pretty exciting. Now, some people put lime in their corn and oil. I'm gonna leave it out because the Hibiscus Liqueur, again, is pretty tart. So I don't think we're gonna need it. Um, let's mix this up. like a dirty dump for this one. I just thought that would be kind of a fun change of pace. Usually I would put something like this on a big cube, but let's just see how this is. <laughs> this is, it's it's thick. It's, it's got like a really mm. nice mouth feel. It's mm. the Drambui and the hibiscus liqueur are combining right. to make a sort of this chewy is, drink, if that makes sense. It's, um, you get a nice rum flavor. A dark rum is really nice in here. Uh, it's a little bit tart, uh, but it's yeah, but it's chewy. It's got this nice uh, round sweetness to it. Yeah, that's really good. That's it's 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 like an old fashioned. It's not as boozy as an old fashioned, um, but it's in that sort of style, but with a more uh, I guess it's a more tropical vein. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I had uh, I just made this up the other day uh, in my head. And this is working out great. Definitely a fun variation. In fact, you know what might be good on here would be a little soda water on top of here. Might just lighten it up just a little bit. Maybe I'll be right back. All right, I just put a little splash of soda water in here to see what we think. Yeah, it's, it's strange. Soda water is strange. It, it's, it's a little bit acidic, which is kind of odd, but it brightens things up a little bit. Um, it sort of accents the sort of bitter notes in the hibiscus. Delicious. All right, I guess that's all I've got to say about that. Click on this link right here to watch the video on how to make hibiscus liqueur. Go follow Zach, because he's the best. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.